All right, second question. 4 and 1 9 divided by square bracket, 2 minus round bracket, 1 and 1 third minus 7 8. Okay, so uh, rules of bar mass, we do the round bracket first. All right, so we need to figure out what is inside or what do we, what's the result of that first. And so let's see. From those two number, 1 and 1 third minus 7 8, we need to first change everything into uh, improper fraction if there's a mixed number. And then we got to find the uh, lowest common denominator again. So 3 and 8, I think you should be able to find that it's a 24. Okay? So 24, 3 times 8 is 24. So 4 times 8 is 32. 7 times, let's see, 8 times 3 is 24. So 7 times 3 is 21. And over here, now you can get started early if you want. Convert that. We know the denominator is 24. So we're going to convert that and have 48 over 24. Okay? Now if you reduce or simplify this, it will be 2 over 1, which is 2. Alright, so then we got to do the numerator. Subtract the numerator. We should get... We should get 32 minus 21 should be 11. So now we're going to combine this, these two because we're done with the bracket. So now we have 48 subtract 11 over 24. Keep in mind you must keep the uh, denominator unchanged. Now when you do that, now if you notice, everything here is unchanged because I haven't touched it except I converted everything into improper fraction because I know I'll need it later. So. Uh, we're going to move everything over to this side. 37 over 9 divided by what's inside the round bracket, which is 37 over 24. And then if you know, when you divide by uh, a fraction, when you divide a fraction, the fraction on the right or in the back, you need to flip it over and change it to a multiplication. So flip it over, it becomes 24 over 37. And once we have that, we can see 37 and 37 on both sides. One is on the bottom, one is on the top. We can cancel that out right away and reduce 9 and 24 using a 3 as our common factor. 3 goes in 9 3 times, 3 goes in 24 8 times. And when you multiply it out, you will get 8 over 3. And do we need to change to mixed number? Well, the problem didn't ask me to, so I'm not going to change it. Okay? If you want to, you can, but then you risk making a mistake at the very end and get minus points. Let's check our answer. 8 over 3, yes, okay, and that will be all. Alright, please check your math and I'll talk to you next time.